come to um, bioinformatics, I will shift you from a bit from data science, machine learning, and AI to bioinformatics today. Uh, it is uh, interdisciplinary field which develop, improve methods for storing, retrieving, and organizing and analyzing biological data to give meaning for biological science. It also involves the integration of computer software, database, in an effort to address a biological question. It has also come out as a tool, since it is a, a multidisciplinary in the way for biological discoveries. It also had aid in genome sequencing. Nowadays, whole genome sequence in crops, livestock, in human genome project, as you know, have been come out, and it also has been phylogenetic comparison and de detection of transcription, as you all know, in the summer school in RNA analysis, and binding some important site in the genes. But why we need bioinformatics for Africa, for uh, research and for food security? Because nowadays there is increasing research in genomic research to identify what is inside in biology, what is in the cell, to explore what is behind the whole genetic information in all living things. There is also an opportunity in rapid growing, breaking progress in te sequencing technology. Now we are in the third generation era, that is nanopore technology, to explore every information as much as we can. We can generate in billions data. And again, there is cost effective. Nowadays, even in Africa, we can afford to sequence the whole genome sequence with cost effective price, probably $1,000 but it was more than $20,000 before five and 10 years. This is also an opportunity we need to explore. But how we can use bioinformatics for agricultural research and for security? Because we can do store or retrieve biological information. There are different databases available for biological data we can retrieve. We can compare gene sequence of the interest based on the biologist interest. We can predict known or unknown genes or protein. We can do every analysis, whatever you find in the picture, depend on the interest of the biologist and depend on the research question we need to address. We can also compare the data. Now every data available in data set we can compare data from country-wise, region-wise, species-wise, we can do comparative research. Bioinformatics can deal with any type of data of interest of biologists. We can do DNA and protein analysis, protein sequence, DNA sequence from any genome interest, from any living organism. We can do gene expression using microRNA. We can do transcriptomics or RNA analysis. We can generate raw data collect from the field. We can nowadays, especially in agriculture, it is easy to do genome-wide association research. What is the phenotype in the field? How we can relate with the genotype of the crop or the animal or every living thing? We can do image virtual model software can deal with the bioinformatics. Even we can access and analyze from published articles to do a kind of comparative and to see what is the current scenario for a particular field of interest. When it comes to specifically in agriculture, why we really need this bioinformatics in agriculture? What is the scenario? and agricultural science research in Africa. As you all know, population <coughs> increased at alarming rate. Probably it was seen in the next decade, the population growth in Africa increasing. And urbanization also another feature of 
uh, most of African countries, and the expected income will lead to strong demand for protein source food. Another scenario in most of African countries, we had an issue in food insecurity and malnutrition, which is a critical issue we need to address. On the contrary, the, ag the agricultural productivity is very low, which is not in a position to support or to feed this increasing populations. So we need to have a tools to alleviate this problem. Again, we need to supply nutritional food for this the, contra the continuous increasing population. In considering the most important fact, nowadays there is low decreasing of agricultural land. There is also a depletion of energy resource and unpredictable climate change. In most of African countries, this famine and drought in every year is affecting so many people and pastoral. So that we need to enlarge the pace of research. We have to do <coughs> advanced research to provide enough food for food generation, the, sorry, for future generation. The other important fact, I hope you are familiar about Agenda 2053, the Africa we want, which has seven aspirations. One of the seven aspirations under this agenda, we need a prosperous Africa based on inclusive growth and sustainable development. One of the pillars to achieve this agenda, that is the modern agriculture. For increasing production, productivity, and value addition, which contribute to the farmers and the national prosperity and the Africa's collective food security. So to achieve this agenda, we need to have a tools to explore the resource and that we have. But what is the significance of bioinformatics in agriculture? There are a lot <coughs> of significance. For example, in crop, we can do molecular breeding, which is very familiar and common in the developed world. They can develop insect resistant variety, <coughs> which is can only possible by using these tools. What is important being responsible for insect resistance and can develop a line for that particular plant <coughs> or cereals or crops. And there is also an option to develop resistant variety for poorer soils and drought. As you all know, this drought and farming is a serious issue in our continent. At the same time, it can improve the productivity and nutritional quality. That is fortifying plant crop is most of the time is low in protein content. But nowadays, using this molecular breeding, we can improve the protein quality of the crop. We can fortify different minerals in the crop by using this molecular breeding. The same is true in livestock we can improve the productivity of livestock. Nowadays, it is possible to have 60 liters of milk per cow. But when you come to in Africa, it is almost 10 liters or five liters per liter. But is it a possibility to improve the productivity, to improve the well-being of the animal, the animal health issue, <coughs> can improve the quality of the product by improving the required nutrient in the animal product. Now, nowadays it is possible to have reference <coughs> genome for different species of livestock. Once you ha we have reference genome, we can do whatever we want to improve every genes or biological information. It's also possible nowadays using bioinformatics to promote efficient animal health program, vaccine development, developing diagnostic care, just to show you 
how this bioinformatics can impact the life of human being from sequencing up to improving the public health interest because it is all possible using this all data once we generate a required data based on our research question we can do what for example this is one of a simple metagenomics genome sequencing we can develop diagnostic tips tools if we are our aiming is working on developing diagnostic tools for a particular disease we can do global disease surveillance if some disease happened we can also do vaccine development for different diseases for animals for livestock even for human beings it's possible for drug development nowadays as you all know africa have rich diversity for crop and livestock so we can do <coughs> based on our resource and we have to free from this hunger and poverty and we have to support this agenda 2053 we would like to see our children to see the prosperous africa and we can also <coughs> improve drug selection we can do environmental sustainability so this all can be possible by using this bioinformatics together with the, the data sites. But what is the opportunity and the challenges in our continent? We have both opportunities and challenges. Regarding in the opportunity, nowadays there is number of repositories for being data curation and analysis is available as long as we are connected in the internet. There is also a growing number of studies on ag agricultural Genomics have been increased, especially recently, together with <coughs> this affordability of sequencing technology. This trend also the same in Africa. Even if we don't have facility in our country, we can access them. We can outsource them by sending our sample outside. But still we have the challenge. The most important challenge is limited access for computational facility. I hope we all face this thing, limited, very poor connection, internet connection, we couldn't get connected to access those database. Sometimes you will face this accessing your email as well. There is data storage facility, high performance comp uh, computer facility, the power, which is the challenge to address or to utilize this opportunity, the bioinformatics opportunity. The other one is there is shortage of trained bioinformaticians. As earlier mentioned, it is multidisciplinary. So we have, there is a promising, there is some training conducted in Africa. There is such kind of initiative, for example, this H3 BioNet, which is a good initiative in Africa, which is working on human health. But there is limited program in the university. Only few universities in Africa can provide education pure bioinformatics up to PhD. I can say only South Africa can have a program up to PhD. And only some few countries. This is also the shortcoming we need to address in the future. But there is now new initiative nowadays in agricultural bioinformatics where part of it, it's called Bioinformatics Community of Practice, which is a joint, jointly initiated by John Center, er Erham Institute, and Beka Inrihev, that is Bioscience for Eastern and Central Africa, based in Kenya. This program has been designed to build strong self-sustaining network by informaticians in Africa with the expert of data science, which is implemented or to be completed in three phases, which was the building phase from April to October last year. The empowerment phase also <laughs> in last year, November, now we are in the stage of amplify phase. The logic behind the program, as mentioned earlier, we have accessibility for big data. We can access in billions base pairs. But the data analysis skill is missing. So 
So nowadays people, graduate students, <coughs> suffering from data overload. So this initiative has to give answer for this <coughs> overload. This is the program in the building phase we took seven modules for seven continuous months. And then we also took a training for train of the trainer and soft skill training to transfer <coughs> the knowledge. This is the member countries, member countries from eight countries. And we are 14th, two of them from Ethiopia, one my colleague from Institute of Bioinformatics. We have one colleague from Sudan, the other from Kenya, more, almost five of them from Kenya. We have two from Uganda, one from Tanzania, one from Zimbabwe, one colleague from uh, DRC, and one guy from Nigeria. This initiative aspiring to serve the efforts regarding agricultural bioinformatics in Africa. This is a partner and we also have a final project for uh, this year. We have three projects. Most of the people who have livestock uh, background are working on the project called LimiDB, which is a web-based interaction visualization tool for livestock microbiome in Africa, since we don't have Africa-specific database and visualization tool, we are developing to avail this tool for African scientists. We are almost 50% of the project. Those guys who are working on crop has developed a web application to serve the farmers and to connect from farmers to seed breeders to connect this channel. And the third project we all involved to sequence whole genome of African yam bean, which is orphan plant and only found in Africa. Now we are working on to sequence, we sequence all the genome and we are working on analysis that probably will publish it in nature in next year. Thank you, this is all the team of this is what I have. Thank you. building is just the 
uh, model to train the few for valid because resource is very scarce because it took a uh, huge budget to accommodate us for seven months and for the infrastructure cost. So now we are in the position to train to others. So in amplification phase, fortunately we have got a chance. So we'll organize one of the workshops in the coming uh, October in Ethiopia. And uh, another uh, workshop will be conducted in Diyadi. That is two national workshops. And then we will organize by ourselves in the country. All those uh, representatives of the country and representatives for your fellow have the responsibility to <coughs> make such channel network in the future. And as, uh, of course, the organization, the BEFA, or the partners help us to reach our goal. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much for your presentation.
which is in line with the capacity building of our university and that is why I'm part of the community of practice. Thank you. 